and welcome back to an Adobe video. So this is going to be quite fun. And today we're going to look at this program here, Photoshop Express. So we're going to open it up and see what happens. Okay, so we can click, I guess, so it's a select image source to start editing. So we'll click on the pictures library. I have some pictures. We're going to just uh, remove this picture. I didn't want that one there. And I haven't got too many at the moment. I was thinking maybe doing one of these two. Let's do the person and then we'll do the chair. All right, so here is our picture. Is that fully, yeah, it is fully zoomed in. All right, so, so you can see, let's see what options we've got here. So we've got, we've got like some sort of crop effect, light with exposure, Tap on areas of your photos to remove blemishes. So spot heal, red eye, and then we have basic, anything else? Also have this button here, settings. Uh, we can resize the image and it will preserve. So that's pretty cool, right? It will just completely preserve it. You can do a very simple resize to like anything you want. Uh, let's see, we click custom. You can just have got a slider there, so that's kind of cool. So if you look back on this one, this is like, what happens if we click this slider here? Okay, so let's do, obviously we've got a picture of a person, so it'll be in portrait here. So we have normal vignette glow, autumn. Let's see which one would suit. Best. I think probably the, the one that stood out to me as sitting the best was this. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's pretty good, right? You can just, uh, let's see, maybe a bit more. All right, maybe let's try and see if we can do a spot heal now. It says tap on areas of your photo to remove blemishes. Zoom using control and mouse scroll. Interesting. What happened there? That's weird. I don't think I meant to do this. Uh, can we do Control Z? No, this is, this is the undo button. Kind of cool though that what just happened there. I didn't mean to do that. That looks really cool, right? Let's have the. the if I do that. What actually happens if I just click here for randomly? We could do some really weird stuff. See, I'm not quite sure what's going on. That isn't the YouTube channel out there, is it? What's the thumbnail size? So that is a thumbnail size for sure. Edges. That looks decent, though. Okay. Uh, once you combine those two, it doesn't work. For some reason, as well. It looks like they're like mutually exclusive. Like if I did this, right? Then I put on the, the one which I like, the half tone, right? It only lets you do one at a time. So I wonder if there is a way to combine effects in some meaningful way. Because you see, if I choose any of these, it's going to just put it back. The only And the issue is, right, if I do this, right? When I go back, it doesn't take me to the stage that I was at before. It takes me back 
to just warm vintage with nothing. So that's not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, interestingly, on the uh, on the red eye, you can do people and pets. Can we still do corrections as well? That's what I'm wondering, right? I think you get. I think you get to do like multiple of these. So if we say we wanted to do some detail, let's try. Okay, so get highlights. Uh, you know what I might do is do a um, it's not terrible. So you can combine, I think basically the way it works is you can combine stuff from each uh, category. Mm. I'm not sure. And what do we have up here anyway? So that's probably enough for that. This button does what exactly? Auto enhance. Okay, so it just does an automatic effect. Let's put it in the most. Well, that certainly does quite a bit, doesn't it? And this button, viewing original, can we do? It? it does let you does let you switch between the two, right? So there's the original. And there's one that I did. Yeah. All right, let's see uh, what else we've got. So what about this chair? I've got to say, actually, it's a very, uh, it's quite a fun piece of software, this. I will need to look more into uh, what this, what, what on earth happened with the spot hill. Maybe it'll work better here. I was thinking like maybe this is just too much for this thing to deal with. No, it still doesn't seem to work. Something just weird is going on. I don't really understand what. Zoom using control. Do I have to zoom like this? But how that thinks that is an enhancement, I don't know. Um, so what would you need for a chair like this? Not portrait. Certainly you would want a border, I think, for the chair, right? Not like a cheesy one, though. It looks like a lot of in the border, the category... I do like the border. I do like these stuff in this edges section. Frames, frames actually might work for this. Um, it actually might match the dark wood, right? Uh, it's not exactly centered. Could do contrast. That I like the bleached wood on it. I actually do prefer. Let's just try the red wood. Now that's also got quite a pleasant. I do like my birch though. I like that one even more though. Again, it's not quite centered. It's uh, interesting, right? That makes things completely different. You can really see, actually. 
You look at the HD, that actually makes it better than the original image, weirdly. Look how much better, look how much clearer you can actually see the actual chair. What about shadows? The only thing I would say is, this makes the chair darker. It's really interesting, it's like dark oak to oak. You can even see textures on the actual thing of the chair. It's, it's weird, it's, it's really like, um, Really seems to work quite well, that. And if I did a crop here, yeah, I think obviously you would do the crop on the chair before you do the border. I don't think that looks bad, though. Again, if you look at the uh, original compared to what we had here, right? Do a side by side. Just can get to it. Right, there it is. So that's the one we just did. You can see real detail on the surface of the actual chair and the back of the chair. This is the original. Really much, I think it looks much better. I think that that's a huge difference, right? All right, I think that's going to do for this particular episode. Really cool program though, this uh, Photoshop Express. Let's you have a lot of fun, quite simply. And yeah, definitely a cool one to check out. So thanks for watching.